I was privileged to join Murfreesboro City Schools at the beginning of 2019. When I was hired to be principal of the then under construction Salem Elementary School, which would open as our 13th building here in Murfreesboro City. You know, it didn't take me very long to quickly realize there was something very special about this district. This was not a district of individual schools spread across the city, but it was really a community that truly came together and worked together to ensure the students we were charged to serve were getting the very best every single day. And I think it's this unified work that has led to many of the successes we've seen throughout our district. Nothing exemplifies this work more than the work being done each year by our City Schools Foundation. This group of civic and business leaders band together and work behind the scenes to ensure our schools, our teachers, and most importantly, the students of our community have the funding they need for innovative ideas and unique experiences that will add to the education they receive each day. As a chair of the City School Foundation for the last three years, I can't say enough good things that we're able to do and provide for our teachers and schools in our community. The Murfreesboro City School Foundation was created over 15 years ago by great community leaders such as Max Moss, Joyce Taylor, Bob Parks, John Floyd, Doug Young, and many others. I'm so proud to serve on this board and continue the vision and mission they created at that time. Through a combination of teacher grants and parity funding, the foundation provides an average of $80,000 annually to our schools, and they've given more than a million dollars since their inception. Additionally, during the pandemic over the last two years, the foundation stepped into a new role and provided critical fundraising and resources that we needed to ensure our students could walk successfully throughout the unknown. I'm so proud to see the way our board was able to pivot during a crisis such as 2020. We were able to not miss a beat and provide some funds, some immediate funds for our schools and our teachers. We were able to bring in quick money when it was so desperately needed to provide food for our child bus, books for our book bus, and we were even able to provide some Chromebooks that the children could take home so they could continue on with their virtual learning. Other school districts were not so lucky, but we were able to flourish in such a difficult time. So what we've really seen the foundation do for Case and Lane is open up three things. It gives our kids opportunity, it really helps us focus on our mission of inclusion, and it also empowers our teachers. Our kids have the opportunity to access things that otherwise they wouldn't have access to. We're really thinking about how we're expanding STEM initiatives across our entire building as a STEM designated school. And so the foundation grants have allowed us to do that. And that extends all the way into our comprehensive development and special education classrooms, where we got a lot of grants this year. And it also empowers our teachers. They see that our kids and that they have the same opportunity that every other teacher in the school and in the district gets. Um, and that really they are able to access these grants for their students. One of the greatest functions of our foundation is the reviewing of teacher grants each year. And that's no easy task. We formulate a committee amongst ourselves and we read every word the teachers submit. And we grade those on a scale and we're able to award tens of thousands of dollars each year back into our local schools and back into our teachers. I'm always amazed each year when I'm reviewing these grants at the creativity and the vision that our teachers have and the ideas that they want to implement into their classrooms, whether that be through orbs, drums, sensory rooms. Their vision is limitless and I love it. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to the uh, City Schools Foundation for providing this grant uh, for our classrooms here. Um, one of the things that we used our money for was the Orba. And the Orba is a handheld device that allows you to record four different types of uh, loops. It allows students to be able to create those four loops and to put them all together. And, uh, and so when the kids do that, we plug it into the sound system and we're able to listen. It almost sounds like a real studio production of what they've created and the kids love it. Music is a great avenue for kids to be able to create. Um, and music also helps with test scores and it helps the kids overall self-esteem and um, it really allows the student to enjoy their education. And if we want it to be student-centered, I think that having kids create their own music says student-centered all over it. Having resources like this allows music and technology to come together and that's what we love in our classroom. The only downside is, is that I did not ask for enough Orbas or iPads. So if there's any money left over, I'll take it. 
As a principal, I am thrilled to have the discretion of Parity Funds. We're able to use those funds to help support students to go on field trips this year. And we're also enhancing our outdoor classroom. With our outdoor classroom, it provides direct and indoor learning experiences for all students. I've been lucky enough so far to receive a lot of grants from the City Schools Foundation. And they cover a wide array of topics from plants and growing butterflies and ladybugs and praying mantises and getting to track the monarchs on their migration to learning how to write code for robots and use technology. We know that each of these things are important to the children to not only learn through hands-on learning, but also because this might help guide them in a field that they may not have realized they were passionate about before, but now we can inspire them to take that to the next level and continue that through middle school and then hopefully through college. I love it because it's set up in a way that's friendly for children, but those extra little opportunities make a world of difference for these kids because otherwise when you're trying to teach from a book it's just not the same. But when you are actually letting them do something hands-on, that's where you find the passion and that's what makes them successful learners. If I didn't have the City Schools Foundation grants, I would not be able to afford to purchase the supplies that the kids need. I wouldn't be able to afford um, to bring in real world learning into their classroom and to give them those hands-on opportunities. These dollars are more than just funds. These are tangible messages that tell our teachers your work matters. It tells our students that we are all invested in giving them the best. And it shows that as a city, we understand that a strong public education system is the foundation of ensuring Murfreesboro's success today and in the years to come. The City Schools Foundation plays a critical part of this work, and we are a better district because they serve alongside of us.